Well, Mark, you said to me pre-match that the players were playing for pride. Do you think you saw that today? I don't think we can ever accuse them, the majority, for lack of effort. But we, we know what the issue has been in the final, final third of the pitch. We have conceded three goals today, but you know we, we could have been there all night. And I don't think we'd have scored. We played loads of forwards, and attacking players today, but that's where we've been found out. And to go one 0 down so early as well, I imagine you were disappointed with how you conceded that goal. Yeah, it's an experienced player just not defending properly, and it's just a byproduct of where we are. People switch off and and don't and don't do their jobs properly. And again, you had a couple of, of injuries. I imagine that was a half-time substitution you had to make due, due to an injury and, and Max Hunt coming back in. Yeah. It's just not going well, is it, in terms no. of the personnel you've got available? Exactly. The season could finish now. You'd snap your hand off and try and get ready for next year. Um, listen, the end of this, the last six weeks have been horrendous. We know that. Not acceptable as a club. As whatever we are as a group, not acceptable. We need to we need to regroup, uh, re-recruit, and uh, and come back ready and fighting, ready to go um, for the start of next season. How frustrated were you with the decision making of, of some of the players? Because they seemed to turn on each other at points as well, where the passes seemed simple but they weren't on, and it just it just felt like it was falling away. Yeah, it's just like I say, it's just a byproduct of. The situation, everyone's frustrated, angry, you, no clarity of thought, and um, yeah, just poor. And how much would you have liked the substitutes that, that Oldham had because they brought on two and both of them scored? Yeah, they've got big, powerful you know, boys to come on. You look at they're bringing on Fondop and they've, you know, Nuttall, Reed up there that are, you know, real physical specimens that. You know, we're, we're in a position where we haven't really got a target man now. So we, as much as we want to play forward, we haven't got anything to play at two. You know, Rio is more of a, a number ten, um, and we haven't got an out-and-out striker that we can play the ball up to because it will just come straight back. So we get caught where we have to be more intricate, and when confidence is low, it's more difficult. How difficult was it a game to be a part of? Because I imagine that confidence that drained from the players, it kind of drained from the supporters as well. It's kind of a acceptance and they struggle to sort of get behind you yeah they can't it's a, like I say the supporters have been through a lot this year um, uh, you know things looked promising and then that's taken away and feel sorry for them feel sorry for everybody connected with the club um, those words probably sound pretty hollow at the minute but I mean it and we um, we appreciate the support we've got. They were good today. They didn't turn on the players, and um, yeah, I thought they were good. And you alluded it to it in your pre-match press conference that there might be another group looking to to take over the the club. Are there going to potentially be decisions made in the next week for the last game? I don't know. I said that like I was just because there's always different people involved in trying to buy a football club, whatever club it is. So. Um, I've not heard anything different to what I was told last week, so it's just we're just drifting along. And um, listen, we'll take the flat, we'll take the blame, um, but there needs to be a leadership. There needs to be somebody steering the ship in the right way. I, I'll take the blame for the results. Um, but we need some help. And you've still got another game yeah. to prepare for, and Matt Wellington limped off. And imagine that was a big blow for you as well. Yeah, and that's all uh, symptomatic of four or five weeks ago when we needed reinforcements and we needed players that were ready to go in and give Worthington, Young, Cooper, Stevens, Williams a break. But we they've had to play and that's why they've got injured. They've had to play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday at full tilt and break down and that's what happened. How much of a difference would it make if you had some clarity before the Boroughwood game? Uh, I don't know. I think I think the on the playing side, it's down to the players. That's individual pride. They've got to go out and again. We have three or four individuals today that run the socks off um, and make good decisions and and play properly. But and that won't change going into the Bournemouth game for the club and the supporters. It's more important that they get um, they get some. 
idea of where their club is going. Thanks for your time, Mark. It's a pleasure.